this is George E. Welcome to George E.'s Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? Hope everyone's doing well. It's the New Year coming, so I hope everyone is ready for the New Year. In 2024, I can't believe it, like the year has flown by already. So, um, this video has like, got a couple purposes. First, I'm going to go over um, uh, what I'm going to be doing for the next, you know, try to do for the next year. Do something a little, couple things different, same things I've been doing, um, hopefully... People still like it. I mean, uh, this last um, week I got a lot more views on my last video, the, the, the end of 2023, my top 10, which a lot I was like really surprised at because I don't, you know, get a, I don't get so many views. I don't mind what if I get like 40, it's fine. But if I get over 200, it's cool. This one got like over 2,700 people watched it, which I was like floored at because I don't get that usually get that at too many videos, and I got like a lot more subscribers, I guess because of it. I don't know, but I appreciate all you people. That subscribe to watch the video and you know i really don't know what to say because it's just like crazy i'm like oh my wife she's like you're kidding i said no i don't know, I don't know why this video struck, struck a chord with somebody but it doesn't mean you're all gonna be like that but and then for 2024 i'm gonna you know do my regular some rankings of albums collection updates things like that um i'm also gonna do like a what's spinning for my work car periodically do that like you know, maybe every couple weeks and just you know show a couple albums i've been listening to in the car i see what's spinning on like on uh scott waters no life for metal he does it and so does metal bench and metal bench chronicles he does what's spinning people do what's spinning but i do it from the car because they work hard you know it's going to be kind of interesting to do that and uh you know see what else i can come up with during the year i want to do um starting next year i want to do uh a little series of my favorite musicians from each you know your favorite drummers favorite guitar players favorite um singers Yada, 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 that kind of thing. So, that's what's coming up for this uh, this year. We'll see what happens. But that's what I want to try to do. So, hopefully, I get more people liking me. And, you know, hopefully, I can do some more um, excuse me, collaborations with uh, Steve Ninja from uh, Excelsior Music Reviews. And uh, see if anyone else wants to do it. I had one person ask me. I didn't want to, didn't want to give his name until we, until we set it in stone. So but that'd be nice to do something with someone else and just, you know, do it. It's, it's really fun doing those. So hopefully I can do those more with some some other people if they want to. We'll see what happens. But appreciate all the people I met this year and talked to, whether I talked to them through YouTube or actually talked to them, texting them or actually talked to them on the phone. It's just amazing that I like, I just unbelievable. Just the people have been so nice. All the guys have been nice that I, I watch guys and girls, whoever I watch for their videos and comments are always nice. No one's really, no one's ever been like mean on the comments for me and all the people I watch have been really cool. So I really appreciate all of them. So that's the first thing. So I think I thought I'd show before um, I do my other part is uh, Christmas came and went. I don't get too much things for Christmas. I don't ask for it to my wife. I don't need anything. I buy my own stuff. It's no big deal. But I'll show you a couple things I did get. My son got me this metal uh, kiss uh, thing with the uh, the new band, or the, you know, now retired band, I guess, from a uh, little metal thing. I have one from the original band from the um, solo album from '78, so I got a no, I got one from the original band and the uh, the last incarnation of the band. So kind of cool. So I put that in the room here, and my wife got me this. They give her a little bit of things what they got me. So just give me one thing. I don't really need anything. So she got me this, the Runaways. They're complete, um, complete albums, all the box set here. Really cool stuff. Um, Runaways, of course, has uh, Joan Jett and Lita Ford. Chevy Curry is uh, the, the singer. But I'll show you what, what the album, what the, uh, the, the oh, it looks like here. First of all, we got the booklet here, which has got a nice shot of, of uh, Lita Ford's uh, back end there, which is, does not suck. But anyway, here they are there. Really good shots of the band here. I just got some of the pictures here. It's really, really good stuff here. There they are there. And uh, here we are again. Sorry, a little glary. It's nighttime. This is a really good couple of shots here. And there's one I really like the picture of. It's only near a four-piece when Sherry Curry left. But this one, this Lita looks so good there. <laughs> I'm sorry, she just does. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the booklet. It comes with all the albums and like a little, look, like, a, like their little records here. So here's the Runaways. This one's a pretty damn good album, too. Um, there's the back. Um, second album, Queens of Noise. Pretty good good one, too. And they're in the back. Another one really good shot. Still grindy there. And this one I just listened to tonight. It was the live one, live in Japan. This one was really good. It's probably my favorite one of the albums so far I listened to. It was this 
live ones. So here they are. It's the back end. Uh, these two, with um, waiting for the night, and uh, now the Runaways. I've not listened to these two yet, though, so I can't tell you an idea because I haven't listened to them yet. But so far they've been good. You know, big Runaways. You know, all female band, obviously. From when you're looking at it, and they all. Um, Joan Jett sings a lot of songs on here too. So the last two albums that I showed you, that she sings all the songs that Sherry Curry left. But um, I like it. It's, it's like you know. Fun rock and roll really is, you know, nothing heavy. Um, really good stuff, though. I never, you know, I was never, I just thought it was intriguing to listen to them, so I was really glad I got this. So, so if you guys are into the Runaways or don't have any albums, you get them all on this little set here. So there you go. That's what I got for Christmas. So and now the second part of the video here is what I, I forgot to do a couple days ago is um, for Jacob's music channel, KRI. There's a lot of schmutz on here. Um, he does the Alphabet Challenge, where he does picks a letter, and then we show albums from that particular artist or, or band with that letter. But we're up to letter H this time, so this part is for that. So subscribe to Jacob's channel. He's, he's a really good dude. Shows a lot of a lot of different stuff. But here we are with the H's. So we're going to start with the only album I actually have by this band, and it's Hellstar, A Distant Thunder. Good album, James... James uh, Rivera, really amazing singer. I have him in the Seven Witches album, too. I have him on. Really amazing. They're on the back. Like I said, the only album I have by Hellstar. Probably should get more. But, um, the King is Dead, Abandoned Ship, uh, Sorcerer, uh, Sorcerer, Sorcerer, yep. Um, Genius of Insanity, Twins of War. It's a good album. Hellstar is pretty, pretty underrated, but not underrated. The people really give him a lot of respect. Now here's a, um, a strange one here. Not a strange one, but it's the band Hawaii. The natives are, the natives are restless. Now, this one is uh, the third album from this band. And this one, if memory serves, has, uh, yes, it does. Marty Friedman is the lead guitar player in Hawaii. Weird name for a band. Weird weird cover, too. Doesn't really look very metal. But it's pretty rocking, though. Just nothing like super heavy, but pretty damn good. Um, you got the uh, Call of the Wild, Turn It Loose is really good. Beg for Mercy, Proud to Be Loud. So yeah, Hawaii, Natives Are Restless. That's one of them here. For H, another one for H is underrated album from this particular artist. I like this album. It's his first solo album after he left his first band. And it's Sammy Hagar, 9 out of 10 scale. I love this album. I mean, it's not like heavy like Montrose was. Well, not that Montrose is that heavy, but not as rocking. But it's got great songs on it. Keep on rocking. Uh, Flamingos Fly. It's a little more, you know, it's got more light and shade to his stuff here. But uh, All American, Rock and Roll Romeo, I really like. So yeah, Sammy Hagar gets with the H's. Let's jump, jump uh, to another genre. And this is um, Hobbs, Angel of Death, some thrash metal from uh, Germany, I believe. And uh, he just passed away. Um, Peter Hobbs here. He just passed away a couple years ago. But this is really good. I found this just to use somewhere, and I was like, wow, this is really good stuff. House of Death, Satan's Crusade, Lucifer's Domain, Marie Antoinette, pretty damn good song there. Uh, Jack the Ripper, good thrash here from uh, Hobbs' Angel of Death. And the last one from Sleaze Metal, um, I believe, not sure what number this is, third, maybe the fourth album, I'm not really whatever said, but Hanoi Rocks, the only album I had by them, actually. Two Steps from the Move, Michael Monroe, the late... Um, Great Razzle passed away from that, my, that accident with Vince Neil. We won't get into that. And uh, Sam Yaffa, who was also who went into form with play with Jeff Boy. But this was a really good album, though. Um, up around the bed, now they opened with a cover of Creedence Clear on a Revival Up Around the Bed. Very strange, but do a good job with it. Uh, high School, I Can't Get It. A uh, Million Miles Away. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Great song there. It's a really good album. So, yeah, for Ages of Snowy Rocks. So that's it for that, for that, um, for the Jacobs Alphabet Challenge, whatever he was, he was calling it. I'm not sure if I'm calling it right, but um, it's good. It's like enjoy doing it. So yeah, that's that's it for this little video. Um, and New Year's Day, if I'm going to be announcing you uh, like since I got over 500 subs now, I'm going to do a 500 subs contest. Um, that's that New Year's Day. So hopefully you guys tune in for that, and, and you know you'll, you'll see what it's all about on New Year's Day. But anyway, that's it. Um, everyone have a happy New Year coming, um, 
And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and comment. Keep rock and metal alive and things staying alive. Don't drink and drive on New Year's Eve. You know, we're too getting too old to be doing that shit. And, you know, you want to drink and get fucked up, that's fine. But don't drive or you're doing it. But have a good time and Happy New Year. And we'll see you next time.